how in the world did I get on RuPaul's Drag Race? Well, besides a lot of luck, I think it's this one David Beckham photo that I recreated. First of all, thank you so much for all the support from the last vlog I made. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Bryce Allenberg. I'm on RuPaul's Drag Race as a pit crew member, and I also do the Red Hot 100. My day job is aerospace engineering. I run ultra marathons, do a lot of photography. I've got a calendar, etc., etc. You know the usual. So the story starts actually back long ways ago. <laughs> Wayne's World, right? Wayne's World party on. Set the scene. It was 2005. I was on a family trip to Las Vegas, and we were walking down one of the many shopping centers, and there was this crowd starting to form. You know, you know, a few people there, and then more people, and then by the time dozens, dozens, I say, dozens of people showed up, and they're all crowded around the storefront, and you can kind of see over their flip phones, you know, back in the day when you had a, a flip phone with like a 0.3 megapixel camera that took the grainiest thing you've ever seen in your life, and now it's all lost to time because none of it's backed up online. Yeah, back then. So I looked through the heads, looked through the flip phones, and I saw that they were taking pictures of these like three women models outside of guest jeans. And it was kind of tough to see the models, but if I like peered back, well, oh, what's, what's actually going on in the store too? Back in the back of the store, there was this ledge where these two guys were actually go-go dancing in like guest jeans or something. So I couldn't like hardly see what's going on, but my sister is always gonna make fun of me for this, for not paying attention to the, the hot chicks. Uh, I actually saw the guys and the first thought in my mind was, hmm, why can't I do that? I mean, at the time I was 15, so that's probably why. <laughs> I actually did try to get a job at Abercrombie and Fitch for my very first job uh, back before they got rid of the models being out front. I was just going to be a store clerk or whatever. Uh, I actually got the job, but I was only 17 at the time, and apparently you had to be 18, so shucks. Uh, fast forward through time, you know, I applied to college, studied hard, got my undergrad degree. Uh, job market wasn't so great, so I stuck around in college for another year, got my master's, started working in the aerospace industry, and I'd been working for a few years, and once that was pretty stable and I was set, um, I started doing other passions. I had a camera and a little dinky Amazon tripod, so I was already taking pictures of like piers and sunsets and mountains and stuff. Uh, so I figured, well, I could just use this camera to do a photo shoot for myself to make, you know, a modeling account on modelmayhem.com at the time. I put a few photos up, just snapshots with my phone. Um, yeah, phones are amazing now. 2014, they were kind of all right. Uh, you know the saying, good artists borrow, great artists steal? So I just went with the great artists steal route and I just picked this photo to replicate. So you might notice that that's David Beckham in Emporio Armani underwear. So I saw that photo and then I took inventory of everything I had, what would I need, and how could I create that? First things first, I had to get the clothes that he wore. So I just went on Amazon, ordered some Emporio Armani underwear that looked close enough to what he was wearing. I had already had a white dress shirt and since the wardrobe is just a dress shirt and underwear, I was good to go. Uh, I had a bed done, I got that. Uh, the next thing I needed were lights. So I wasn't going to buy really expensive lights or anything. I had a couple of lamps in my room. So hey, I have lamps, that's light. They're hard to move around, the plugs aren't long, but I made it work. I went to Vaughn's and got a Neutrogena spray tan canister and just literally spray tanned myself just to get more even color for what the photo looked like. Plus you want the, the tan skin to kind of pop against the white clothes. That's kind of what makes the photo work. You don't wash away into them. The, the contrast is good. And for the shine, uh, now I know on RuPaul's Drag Race we actually use baby oil to get the shimmer on us. I sprayed myself with sunscreen to actually get the shimmer in the photo. Take the photos. I already had a crappy tripod that technically held the camera. Right, I put my camera up there. I angled it at the thing. Um, and I got this teeny tiny remote clicker. No, it was wireless. 
So what I would do is I would set up the camera, I would set up the lights where I think they should be. I'd go on the bed and pose, right? And I'd be like, I think I'm in the right spot. So I'd click the button and then quickly hide it behind me and wait the three seconds or so for the camera to go off and like click, hide. And I do that about five to 10 times and I have to get up, look at the back of the camera, scroll through the photos. And then I went, hmm, what's off about this? Maybe if I move the lamp a little over here or if I angle my head a little bit more this way and up and oh shoot, my hand was totally in the wrong spot. I gotta move there. So I'd have all these little tweaks and every five or 10 photos I'd iterate and iterate and iterate until I got a little bit better each time. And I'd always look at the photo, look at mine, look at the photo, look at mine. and after honestly about 150 photos, it took a while. So I plopped the 150 photos or so on my computer and I scrolled through them until I found one that was close enough and I started editing. So I you know, went through the basic presets, adjusting the exposure, the contrast, the white balance, and then I had to do a little bit more work than I would have if I had a perfect setup to begin with. I had to do a lot of dodging and burning where you brighten and darken certain parts of the scene which if you have the correct lighting in the first place, you wouldn't need to do. But the background I needed to darken a lot. And also the color of the sheets was gold. So I had to go through and manually desaturate the entire bed to make sure that it looked white, kind of like in the actual photo from David Beckham. So I had my finished picture and I put it up on modelmayhem.com. And within a day, it got second place in the photo of the day contest which I thought was, oh, awesome. I got a, I got a little bit of recognition for all the, the hard work I put in one night. And within a week, I got an email from a popular TV show that was looking for pit crew members. Uh, I had no idea what it was at the time, uh, but I thought I could say yes or I can say no. So I said yes, and the rest is history. If I had to give a main takeaway, it's if you have an idea in your head on um, something creative that you want to do don't let a lack of equipment get in your way like if you don't have the best camera the best lighting setup the best budget for a wardrobe if you don't have the ability to hire assistants or you don't have room in your apartment or shooting space you can add in a little bit of extra time and a little bit of creativity to get something that's pretty close to the final product that you're envisioning in your mind so obviously professionals pay a lot of money for all of their professional equipment because time is money if you're getting paid for what you do and having lights that you can set that save time in post-processing means boom, you can suddenly do you know, the same amount of work in 70% of the time, which means you can have spare time to spend with your family or go do other hobbies and work out and hang out with friends and all the other things. So. But if you're doing it just as a fun passion, just seeing where it goes, sometimes if you take away tools, it forces you to be a little more creative and the end result is actually pretty great. So the David Beckham photo isn't the only one I've done. Uh, in a future video, this one seems popular enough, I'll do another story about how I did Marky Mark, uh, a Mark Wahlberg photo. And who knows, in the comments, if you want me to attempt to do another famous photo, by all means, I'd be more than willing to give it a shot. And thank you so much. Oh, and Valentine's Day is coming up. So if you want a personalized Valentine's Day message from me to whoever you want to send love to, uh, just hit me up in the cameo and I'd be more than happy to do so. Bye.